Nearly a century ago, West Coast fishermen went far out to sea in search of chicken of the sea. It's still fast action down here on the deck, too, as our school of small tuna keeps striking. Don't let that word small confuse you. What they lack in size, they make up for in action and in flavor, too, when they're packed. Yes, sir, these one-pole fish are the cream of the catch, and our fishermen seem to be getting plenty of the cream. Albacore tuna entered the Oregon fish markets in the 1930s, when Oregon ports from Coos Bay to Astoria were home to large fishing fleets, dozens of canneries that employed thousands to process the catch. While Oregon's large-scale canneries are long gone, albacore fishing techniques haven't changed much at all. They have poles, they have lines and jigs, and when the fish hits, they pull them in. It's mostly a 10 to 25 pound fish. A lot of it's by hand. When fish hit, every one of those lines will light up, so they constantly are pulling lines in as fast as they can by hand. Astoria continues to offer the freshest catch for salmon, black cod, and varied rockfish species that are caught just offshore. There's a higher demand for seafood in general. It's a healthy alternative protein, number one. We're seeing more and more people starting to cook at home. It's not rocket science to, if I can cook, cook it, anybody can cook. <laughs> at the new Edison Bros Fish Market at the foot of 11th Avenue on the downtown waterfront, you will find a wide variety of fish. People love fresh crab, fresh salmon, um, and the tuna has been a big hit this summer. He's right, Malbacore tuna is affordable and abundant. They get really excited about uh, July because they know the tuna are coming. You just can't beat a fresh albacore tuna loin. I love to barbecue it. So what I do is marinate it in some soy, brown sugar, um, some black pepper, maybe some ginger. Let it sit for a couple hours, throw it on the barbecue. It is fabulous. In fact, 10 million pounds of albacore tuna will be landed in Oregon coastal ports this year. The tuna is worth up to $60 million and is a critical part of small coastal economies. It is a great Great fish, it's easy to prepare, kind of like chicken of the sea. Steve Fick and Pete Edison are fishermen and chefs who love to show off their recipes with chicken of the sea. We're going to slice this into some chunks. Fick says albacore is far more affordable than halibut and makes a fine fried fish. His albacore is cut into one by two inch chunks, then drenched in flour and then into an egg bath and finally covered with crunchy panko. He prefers peanut oil, and the hotter, the better. When these are brown on one side, you're going to roll them over, and you can kind of periodically just kind of look at them a little bit. It doesn't take long. Yeah, that's looking good there. There are many tuna species in the Pacific called bluefin, yellowfin, skipjack, and big eye. But albacore is the only true white-meated tuna. All the others are red-meated. We're going to cut these at about five-eighths to three-quarters of an inch. And we want this a little thinner for, for cooking where we're going to flip it out there pretty fast. Recipe number two is like a burger, but better. It's nearly fat-free with lettuce, onion, tomato, and low-cow buns. We're going to marinate it in a teriyaki. We're going to grill it. It's so easy and it cooks so fast. Put it on a low-cow bread and then we'll put tomato and lettuce and put a Dijon mayonnaise spread on it. Finally, a recipe number three, a tuna salad, unlike any you've ever tried. Loads of spinach followed by tomatoes and then blueberries. Gives a little bit of sweetness. When we're done, we're putting the feta cheese and the almonds on there. Sauteed chanterelle mushrooms are added, followed by almonds and feta cheese. Small chunks of barbecued albacore top the salad and then a drizzle of raspberry dressing. The recipes are diverse and delicious, and each is a hit with the crowd. It, it has a, a lighter texture. It does. And it, but it doesn't, taste, it doesn't taste like tuna. It tastes a little closer to chicken. why they call it chicken of the sea, doesn't it? Really good, huh? Good. Yeah. Better than that. Really? Better than good. <laughs> Keeper? Oh, absolutely. Really good, huh? Wow. The nice thing is it's really moist. It's still very moist. It's a very diverse fish that you can do so many different things other than put it in a can and make a sandwich out of it.